The purpose of this quick tip video is to show you how to use the bore path analyzer to select the best frequencies for your job site. Every job site has potential interference which may limit usefulness of some frequencies. The bore path analyzer feature in the Marksman Plus Tracker gives users the ability to scan the bore path and suggest best frequencies for mitigating active interference. We will begin by powering up the beacon. Insert a double C-sized lithium battery designed for HDD operations into the beacon positive side first. Tighten the battery cap until shouldered fully. You can also use the 220-2846 adapter sleeve in conjunction with the 21700 Ultramax HDD or equivalent rechargeable lithium ion battery. Place the beacon in the housing and install the lid. We are now ready to power on the Marksman Plus Tracker. Move the joystick to the right to enter the menu. You will notice Bore Path Analyzer is highlighted. Move joystick to the right again to enter Bore Path Analyzer. The tracker has detected a beacon and asks if you want to put it to sleep. Move joystick to the right to select yes. Before we begin scanning, let's go over each control section. To scan, pull back and hold while walking the bore path. Push joystick up to clear previous scan. Move joystick to the right to select suggested frequencies and begin calibration process. Press the joystick to toggle frequency limit for specified power grid. Move the joystick to the left to exit bore path analyzer. Now we are ready to analyze the bore path. Begin at the start of the bore. Pull the joystick back and hold. Walk the bore path and note spikes along the bore. If you release the joystick for any reason, you can pull the joystick back and hold again to resume where you left off. When you get to the end of the bore path, release the joystick. Move the joystick to the right to select the suggested frequencies. If you notice potential passive interference along the bore path, you can choose from the four lower frequencies to help mitigate that interference. You are now ready to calibrate the tracker to the beacon. This will be covered in another video. For additional quick tip videos, visit our YouTube site.